How about you to your beautiful Rebecca? I promise I'm going to give you a bracha, but because the sun is setting upon us, we will do the Kiddushin first, and I promise you, I will speak from the heart. I will make the brachot uh, baburchem. I'll make the brachot for you. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam borei pri hagafen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher gidishanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu al arayot v'asalanu et arusot v'hitir lanu et hanesuot lanu al yedei chupa v'kidushin Baruch atah Adonai, Mikadei Shamo Yisrael, Al Yedei Chupa V'Kidushin. I'd like to call up Rabbi Michael Hatton and Rabbi David Levenkrus, my two esteemed colleagues from Achon Pardes, as a dean for the Kiddushin. Do we have the ring, Barak? Do you have the ring? It would be very helpful. Okay. A dean, is this Shavet Pruta, in your humble opinion, in your esteemed, learned opinion? Okay, Barack, did you purchase this with your own money? Okay, very good. Rebecca, if you could hold out your right hand with your finger out. Don't give it to her yet, Barack. Are you ready to accept this Kiddushin willingly? She said yes. You couldn't hear her, but she said it. Okay, Barack, when you are ready, recite this, and then place the ring to Rebecca. <laughs> Okay, Adim, you saw everything? Yes, your car. Thank you. I barely have an hour and a half of remarks prepared. Welcome to your Hupa your beautiful special chuppah. It's a, it's a symbol of the home that you are building together. And I want to say in front of all of these people here, what an amazing privilege it is for me to be here. I don't feel like an outsider here. I feel like a member of the family. And uh, I can only tell you how excited and thrilled I am to be part of your amazing simcha. Both of you, Barak and Rebecca, are blessed with wonderful family present here for you. Barak, your parents Shlomo and Yehudit and Safta Miriam are here. And Rebecca, your wonderful parents Edward and Carol and all of your siblings, Ori and Lisa and Esther and Victoria are all here and all share in this amazing simcha with you. And there are other family members who physically have passed, but I know that they are here with us right now and are feeling incredible pride at seeing the two of you standing here under your chuppah overlooking the old city of Jerusalem. Your chuppah is very special for a lot of reasons, not just because you happen to be standing under it. But your chuppah is actually deeply associated with the value of chesed. I'm told that this talit is Saba Ruvain's talit that he got at his bar mitzvah. I'm not going to guess. I'm assuming it's quite a while ago he received that talit. And it was in, it was in Iraq. And here it is now in Yerushalayim as a chupa for his grandson and new granddaughter. And chupot, Rebecca, play an important role in your family's history as well. Because Abudi and Victoria, Zichonam uh, Livracha, made it a point to provide chupot for the people who need it in their town, also in Iraq. So there is a tremendous feeling and spirit of chesed here. And I have to say that this spirit of chesed really suits the two of you. Now, I got very lucky with this parsha. I'm really glad you chose Parshat Breshit. It's a, a no-brainer, right? The first creation, beginnings, the first marriage, 
If you had gotten married during Vayikra, I would have been in trouble. But uh, this one was really no problem. Uh, there's a very interesting thing that happens in this parsha in terms of the creation of woman. The Torah tells us that God already notices that Adam Harishon doesn't have a partner. He says, Lo toviot Adam levado, ezer kenegdo. So God already knows at this moment in time that poor Adam can't be alone. And nothing has been created that can suit him. However, something very interesting happens. Mashu ma'od ma'anyen we have this intermediate step where Adam then names all the other creatures, and then he has to discover for himself that he doesn't have a partner. And only then, after that moment, then God has him fall asleep and creates Chava creates, uh, creates Eve. Now, it's a very interesting question to think about. Why is it that God waited? God knew. Why did he wait? The Talmud in Yevamot says something very interesting. It points out that Adam HaRishon had to learn that he couldn't manage alone. Now, there are two reasons given. The first one is quite practical. It says that he would grow wheat, but who would make it into bread? He'd grow flax, but who'd make him something to wear? A little practical, a little outdated, perhaps. But the second opinion mentions the idea of simcha. Sha'adam levad lo yacholiot sameach, hu chayav shutaf, hu chayav badzug. Z'inyan kiyumi v'ruchani. It's a spiritual and existential need that Adam has. And the question that troubled me when I looked at this is, why did God wait? Why did God wait for Adam to learn of his need and his loneliness? And I'm sure there are many answers, but the answer that I like best is that he wanted Adam to know that God loved him very much. He wanted Adam, that God could see his needs and see his loneliness, and want to do something about it. He wanted Adam to learn of the love that God had for him. And I think it's particularly appropriate for the two of you because I had the privilege of meeting both of your parents. And I can tell you, both of you have been incredibly blessed with parents who love and adore you very, very much. And I don't mean just the standard love that parents feel for their children. An incredible appreciation of all the wonderful qualities that you both have. They look at you with tremendous pride and tremendous gratitude. And I think that that appreciation and admiration of your gifts and personalities and character, that you grew up as privileged, as treasured people, and I think the gift that they gave you as parents gave you an incredible gift that you now use. And that is that both of you are incredible givers. Shnechem anshei netina. Both of you have an instinct to think of others. Now I know you're both handsome and pretty and talented and professionals and all those wonderful things. But what stands out most of all in the two of you is you're constantly looking around to see and check on the happiness and well-being of others. As we're standing here right now, I know Rebecca is worried about somebody sitting there in the crowd. I know it. And I know Barack is worried about Rebecca worrying about that person in the crowd. I know that too. But you both have an incredible gift of hearts that are wide open. And my blessing for the two of you standing here in this very special spot in Yerushalayim is that not only will you have homes filled with kedushah of holiness and light and love and osher v'osher, gam v'ayin v'gam aleph, but it will always be a home of giving. It will always be a home where the needs of others will always be important to the two of you. And together, you will always make a place for all of the people that you meet and find a way in your life. I bless you both. Mazal tov.
Barak, you've got more work to do. This is a talit that I'm going to ask you to put on. And because of the time, you'll just make the shachianu. So hold on one second. You'll make a shachianu. Then you can put the talit around the two of you, as is the custom for some. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, shachianu, ikimanu, igianu, uzman hazeh. Amen. Is it warmer that way? Good. I'm now holding a document of the Ketubah. And I'm not going to read the whole Ketubah because it's both in Aramaic and it's not so exciting, to be honest with you. The story is not thrilling. But it does list here all the obligations, financial and otherwise, that Barak has towards his Kala. And it was signed with two, the, with two Adim. So I will just read the beginning and give you the highlights. Bereviba Shabbat, Yom Esrim Ve'arba L'chodesh Tishrei, Shnat Chameshet Alafim Ve'shvamot Ve'shivim Ve'shesh L'briyat Olam Minyan Shnu Minyan Kam B'Yerushalayim Yer HaKodesh Anan Sade Echa Chatan Barak Ben Shlom Mishpachat Chalavi Amar L'marat Rivka Havli Le'intu Kedat Moshe V'Yisrael You married her and you promised to Efalech Ve'okir Ve'izun Ve'farnes and you promised to support her and take care of her and the rest of the... Yeah excuse me, uh, the obligations are written here and it's been signed by Adim. So Barak, I would like to ask you to present your ketubah to your kala and say, hey ketubateh, and then she will accept it from you. Hey ketubateh. You've accepted your ketubah. Okay, we're making really good progress. Okay, higanu l'shev ha-brachot. Mechubad b'beracha ha-rishona v'shniya for the first and second Veracha, we would like to invite the brother of the groom, Ori Halavi. ברוך אתה ה' אלוהינו מלך העולם, שהכל ברא לכבודו. מכובד בברכה של אישית, הדוד של הכלה, אליאס הגבבה. For the third ברכה we would like to invite the uncle of the bride, אליאס הגבבה. For the fourth Baracha, we would like to invite the uncle of the bride, Yaakov Menashe. אשר יצר את האדם בצלמו, בצלם דמות תבניתו, והתקין לו ממנו בנך עד העד, ברוך אתה אדוני יוצר האדם. מכובד בברכה החמישי, הדוד של החתן, מייקל בלום. For the fifth ברכה we would like to invite the uncle of the groom, מייקל בלום. קיבוץ בניה ותוכה בשמחה. ברוך אתה אדוני ושמח ציון בבניה. מכובד וברכה השישי, הדוד של הכלה אלדת איראני. שמח תשמח רעים האהובים, כי שמחך יצירך בגן עדן מקדם. ברוך אתה אדוני, משמח חתן וחלה. 
מכובד, בבלה. של החתן, יצחיק לוי. For the seventh bracha, we would like to invite uncle of the groom, יצחיק לוי. ברוך הבא. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם, אשר ברא ששון ושמחה, חתן וכלה, גילה רינה דיצה וחדווה, אהבה ואחווה ושלום ורעות. מהרה אדוני אלוהינו יישמע בערי יהודה ובחוצות ירושלים כל ששון וכל שמחה, כל חתן וכל כלה, כל מצהלות חתנים מחופתם ונערים ממשתה נגינתם. ברוך אתה אדוני משמח חתן עם הכלה. As a brief addition, both uh, Rebecca and Barak have a deep and profound love for Eretz Yisrael and a deep and profound appreciation for the men and women who risk their lives and, God forbid, in some cases, sacrifice their lives for the defense and safety of this country, of Medina Yisrael. So Rebecca asked that I recite the Mishaberach on her behalf for the Chaylet Sahel. Uh, and as we know, the tefillot of a kala and a chatan are very special under the chuppah. So may it be God's will that this tefillah in particular uh, is heard this evening, especially at this time. Mishaberach avateinu Abraham Yitzchak v'yakov, hu yivarech et chayalei tzva hagan Yisrael, v'anshei kochot v'bitachon, ha'omdim ha'mishmar atzeinu v'arei Eloheinu, m'gvul ha'lovanon v'ad m'ibar mitzrayim, min ha'yam ha'gadol, ad lovo ha'rava, v'chol makom shehem, v'yabasha ba'avir u'vayam. יתן ארנה את אויבינו הקמים עלינו ניגפים לפניהם. הקדוש ברוך הוא ישמור ויציל את חיילינו מכל צרה וצוקה ומכל נגל מחלה, וישלח ברכה והצלחה בכל מעשי ידיהם, ידבר שונאינו תחתיהם, ויעטרם בכתר ישועה ובעטרת ניצחון. ויקוים בהם הכתוב, כי אדוני אלוהיכם ההולך עמכם להילחם לכם עם אויביכם, להושיע אתכם ונאמר אמן. So we come to the point in the Tekes, with all the happiness that we're feeling and all the wonder and the blessing of a new marriage, we still remember that the world we are in is not fully complete. We are not living in a time of complete shalom. And as much as we have to be grateful for, we always have to remember that there is work to be done, there is still a road to travel, and some things are still chaser. And uh, that's something we also remember at our smachot as well. So I'd like to invite the kahal. We'll sing Imesh Kachech together. And then Barak will recite Imesh Kachech. Then he will break the coast. Imesh Kachech, Yerushalayim. אם ישכחך ירושלים, תשכח ימיני, תדביק לשוני לחכי, אם לא אזכרכי, אם לא אעלה את ירושלים על ראש שמחתי.
Mazalto. 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 Thank <laughs> you.